Youth leadership is super important to instill right off the bat. Those are the kids that are going to be in the school making sure that inclusion is present every single day. The future is bright because these kids just worry about people as people. You're just constantly trying to keep up with them. It's exciting because they're going to be our next leaders. Not about winning or losing. It's about advocating for those who have disabilities and to give them a chance. Staying in at lunch, working in class and outside of school. Because this is how I want every school to be. Being a leader even starts at like someone drops something, just picking it up. About a year and a half ago, I had an injury on my arms. And I was walking by and I saw that Miss Pat was doing the chairs by herself and she had the injury. So then I volunteered and said I was interested in helping out. I'm highly motivated and I always think positive. I'd come in every day excited to do this job. It feels great to actually helping out the school. Amazing feeling. We are. All, all, all in it is together. Vanessa is the light of the room. She wears her heart in her sleeve. And never in a million years would I think one of my students with a severe stuttering disorder would be speaking Spanish. And here she is. And not only does she go, she goes independently. Oh no. Dos. Dos. Everyone depicts us as people who have a challenge and we can't do the same things that people can do. No, we can. It makes me proud to know that I can make someone stay better. I feel like I'm part of something. Disability or no disability, we should treat one another with respect. Washington has this very accepting attitude. And I do think it's because of Isaiah Sosi and the Special Olympics Unified Program. The Unified Program here at Washington High School built me up to the person that I am today. Just an amazing person. He just said, hey, I want to be involved. Well, he ended up being the Unified Partner of the Year. He was the one who actually started getting us involved with the basketball because he really liked basketball and he saw this, he's like, I think we'd have a blast and he was totally right. Students started supporting one another, whether it's with disability or with no disability. Treating each other with the respect that everyone should be treated with. You can't see it and not feel gratitude. Every year I've had these new students who come in and they always have new ideas. <laughs> They're always so firm and said, don't worry, Miss G, we got it. Just a few events planned by the leadership board include holiday parties, going to prom, and homecoming together, and going bowling. What does it mean to you that we're co-presidents? We do things equally. We are dedicated to unification and equality. Of this, we are very proud. It was what we want people who are, for the first time ever hearing about Unified Champion Schools, to take away from the day with, and hopefully take back into their own communities and their own schools. This is an inclusion revolution. You're going to see kids doing tremendous things for their community and their world. And they will go on to different jobs, and they will go on to different cities, and they will change their communities. There is nothing wrong with being different. And that's what makes you you. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes me me. Making a contribution to a huge movement is the biggest thing anyone can really do. Building something that you're going to eventually look back on and be proud of. I control my disability. My disability doesn't control me as a person.
you just walked you half the cafeteria awesome. without even taking a break. High five. Yeah. Dude, that's sick. Amazing, dude. I'm so proud of you.